Hi, Scott from Pimp My PS3 here. We're uh, back with another instructional video for you for the uh, disassembly of the cage. Now, the uh, fan is still attached, as you can see. Um, and it's very dirty. Look how dirty that system is. Unbelievable. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to take out these four screws. These are uh, the clamps that hold your uh, heat sinks on the fan to the board. Distributes the heat, gets rid of the heat from the processors. We're also going to be changing the heat sink compound on this as part of the reconditioning process that I do here. Hi Con. Okay, now you're going to be taking out two screws on the motherboard. This screw and this screw. Okay, now that you have those two screws out, we're going to flip it over. We're going to unplug the wire for the fan. That goes right in here. Unplug that, put that to the side, and turn the board around. Okay, now that we have the fan unplugged, we're going to take the front part here where we can get our fingers underneath it and we're just going to pop. Okay, once it pops loose, take out the fan. This is what the fan looks like. Man, look at all the dust in there. This one needed cleaning bad, very bad. This is the uh, white thermal heat sink compound that Sony uses. It's just a generic heat sink compound. I'm going to re be replacing that with Arctic Silver Fire heat sink compound. Okay, now we're going to take out the one screw, the blue screw for the hard drive. Okay, slide the hard drive forward and pull it out like so. Now we're going to have to take out these two screws for the hard drive cage. Okay, now that you have those two screws out for the hard drive cage, there's one more plug that you have to unplug. I'm going to get a, pull, a small pair of needle nose pliers here. You don't want to pull on the wires, you want to pull on just the plug. Okay, pull the plug out like so. This is actually the battery for your uh, CMOS, basically like a CMOS battery from a computer. Okay, now that that is unplugged, you're going to hold the cage with these parts here facing down. This is, remember where the power supply plug was. Put that part facing down and we're going to split the cage. Pop, pop. Comes off like so. And you lift up. Okay, there's three little tabs. One, two, three little tabs right here. And they come out like that. Okay. Okay, now that the cage is split, the bottom part of the cage is still on the board. I'm going to do the same thing and split it again. Okay. Look how dirty that is. This one needed it bad. Okay. Now, see these little rubber pieces here? You got to make sure that they stay in place. Okay. Really light heat sinks. As you can see, one of them here on this processor we're not going to mess with it in another rubber heat sink here sit on that little processor there. Um, basically that's the disassembly for the board and this is what your PS3 board looks like inside the cage okay um, if you're going to be reflowing the PS3 because it has yellow light of death these are the two processors right here with the uh, heat sink compound that we're going to replace these are the two processors that you want to steady heat on if you're going to try and reflow your own system. There's other videos out there. I'm not going to show a video on how to reflow for yellow light of death because I really don't believe in it. And uh, I mean if you want it done I'll do it for you. Um, I only charge $50 to reflow but there's no guarantees on how long they're going to last. They may work a day, they may work a year. Um, so that'll be the end of this instructional video. We'll be showing you how to put it back together in the next video, reassembly of just this board. Again, this was a backwards compatible system. Thank you for watching, and remember, pimpmyps3.com for all your PS3 needs, parts, supplies,
customizing sales and service. Thank you for watching.